Okay, Capcom, you have a problem and you need to fix it. Ethan Winters, welcome. So everyone's probably super hyped about the new Resident Evil Village set to release next week on 7th of May. Before we get overly excited about this release though, I had my chance to play the limited 60 minute demo version of the game on PC and it's not looking that good to be honest from my personal playability perspective. But more on that and other thoughts that I had on the game coming right up. Where are you going little one? <sighs> Let's get the positive aspects of the game out of the way first. The graphics, wow, they are amazing. The details are there, the HDR implementation is working fine and the overall look to the game is really, really great. I ran this game at 3840 by 1620 resolution, which is a cut tone ultra wide resolution for 4K displays and with my 6800 XT, the frame rate remained buttery smooth, easily over 100 FPS throughout the whole experience. I'm also glad to report that when ray tracing is enabled on the 6800 XT in its higher settings, the FPS never dipped below 60. It hovered around 65 to 70 FPS. Though I would still much rather keep it turned off and enjoy a much smoother experience with baked in lighting. Speaking of which, the lighting without ray tracing turned on is actually really impressive and although you do notice the global illumination when turned on, it's not something which really affects the overall experience to the degree that you'd start feeling like like it's a meaningful uplift to the graphical fidelity. The audio work in this title is also very impressive. Voice acting is enjoyable, guns sounded okay and most importantly, audio mixing was done properly. I did not notice anything really off about it during the, my short hour with the game. Lastly, I would also like to mention that 21x9 support in this game is proper. It extends the viewport further to the sides and does not zoom in the image as we so often see with big titles. But this is also where we get to the problematic side of Resident Evil Village. The field of view. Guys, look, the FOV in this game is just crap. The image looks like you constantly zoomed in and with bigger displays the problem gets escalated beyond belief. Resident Evil games have always had this problem that the FOV has been non-adjustable and this needs to change. When Resident Evil 7 was released it had horrible FOV and for me it was pretty much unplayable until a community hack was released. Now you might ask that if it's such a big deal then why isn't everyone yelling about it online? Well, the main reason behind it is that for console versions people usually play these games on a TV sitting a few meters away from the screen where such a narrow FOV makes more sense and is more comfortable to look at. On a PC though, you sit much closer to the actual screen and the wider FOV starts making sense. The larger the display, the wider the FOV you're going to need in order to keep the image looking natural. Okay. I know that with the 48 inch LG C1 as my main display, I'm in a huge minority when it comes to this and for people rocking 27 inch monitors, this will probably be a lesser issue. But from my personal point of view, developers for first person shooter types of games should always include an FOV slider into their games in order to make sure that people with varying setups could enjoy their work. Besides the FOV issues, I also noticed that the menus in the game are really not that optimized for PC use cases. The easiest examples of this would be that the escape button does not back out from the menus. You have to press the right mouse button for that. Why? Also, you need to press capital P, yes, shift plus P in order to skip the cutscenes and get to the pause menu. You get to open the map with both V and M keys, but in order to close the map, again, you cannot simply press escape. You need to hit the V or M keys again. Why? And whilst on the topic, why have this strange way of navigating the map? You have to hold down the middle mouse button in order to scrub around the map. Why can't you just use WASD keys to move the map around? It's such small things which give me an indication that the PC port of this game has not received as much attention to details as it probably should have. So time for a conclusion. Will Resident Evil Village be a hit amongst gamers? Yes, it most probably will. Will I be buying it right away? No, at least not until someone has come up with a way to manipulate the in-game FOV as for the time being the game is simply not enjoyable at all on a large screen monitor. Does it affect everyone? Nope, absolutely not. And I think the majority of the gamers will be really, really happy with this release. 
Also, it is really nice to see the overall settings having a ton of tweakables, just like with every other late RE Engine game. So you can probably get this game running even on a potato. Everything besides the FOV in this game looks great so far, and I cannot really imagine Capcom fucking themselves over so hard with messing this one up. For that, we have Konami. This has been Galastophilus, and those were my subjective thoughts on Resident Evil Village, a limited gameplay demo. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.